How's it going, guys? I'm Mike Dwyer from the Bunker Recordings and BetterMixes.com, and I've got a little bit of a different video for you today. I feel like a lot of the time we get so caught up with making our recordings and our mixes absolutely perfect that we forget to kind of try some weird stuff and have some fun. So just recently, I was rereading Sylvia Massey's book, Recording Unhinged, which I strongly recommend, by the way, super entertaining, super inspiring, but it's full of stories of really fun, goofy things that engineers have done while recording. So I decided to make a video showing one of these techniques, so maybe you can try it on your next recording. So all you're gonna need for this trick is a handheld microphone, something like a Shure SM57, that's what I'm using in this example, and a garden hose. So this trick is kind of inspired from an old analog delay unit called the Cooper Time Cube, which was basically just a garden hose wrapped up in a box with a microphone on one end and a speaker on the other end. And of course it would take time to get from the speaker end through the hose and to the microphone end, which would create the delay. So in this case, we're using that same concept to sort of simulate a weird, fun sounding room mic on our drums. So all I did to do this was I taped a 57 to one end of the hose, then I took the opposite end of the hose, sort of stuck that in right underneath the snare drum, right next to the batter head of the kick drum, and then wrapped the rest of the hose over the kick drum, around the toms, underneath, looped it all around, and then put the end with the 57 across the room in the corner, kind of as far away from the drum set as possible. So let's check out what this sounds like. I've got a super simple drum setup here. I just have a pair of overheads, a kick mic, and a snare mic, plus the garden hose mic. So in the first clip, I'm gonna play just the garden hose. The second clip is gonna be the full mix of everything. And then the last clip is gonna be without the garden hose mic. Also, I am processing the garden mic just a bit. I'm adding a boatload of low end in. I'll put up a screenshot of the EQ I used right here, but basically just adding a ton of low end to get some extra kick in there and overall fullness. Pretty cool, right? So it definitely gave an interesting sound. It really filtered out a lot of the cymbals, so you would probably be able to crush that pretty hard if you wanted without getting that nasty, washy, harsh sound that you sometimes get when crushing room mics. And obviously you could process this any way you wanted. You could compress it, distort it, get really crazy with it. I don't know, EQ it however you want, do whatever. And you know, the thing is, even if you don't end up using something like this in a mix, it can still be a really fun thing to try. I guarantee if you do this while recording a band, they'll be talking about it forever. They'll say, remember that time in the studio when we mic'd up the drums with a garden hose? Like that's something fun that they're always gonna remember. Like I said, if it sounds bad in the mix, just hit the mute button, it's all good. Also, like I said, I did not come up with this technique. It was not my idea. I got this from Sylvia Massey's book, Recording Unhinged, but I just thought it was a cool idea that I wanted to share with you. So if you like this video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I've got a bunch of other ideas for sort of weird recording technique videos. So if it seems like people are into that, I'll make more of them. And in the meantime, give this a shot in your next recording session. Or if there's some other kind of weird fun technique that you've heard about that you've been wanting to try, do it. Like I said, worst case scenario, you don't end up using it in the mix, but you might end up with a really cool sound that you never would have gotten otherwise. Also, be sure to head on over to bettermixes.com to grab a free copy of my Ultimate EQ Cheat Sheet.